doctor always used to tell me, David, you tell one lie, you're going to have to tell two. So just stop lying. Solomon says it best in Ecclesiastes 10, 1. A dead fly gives perfume a bad smell. Now, how many have ever made soup for lunch sometimes? Now, if one of them flies in your house, and I pray you don't have flies in your house, but say a fly flies down and gets into that big pot of soup. The soup's trash then, right? I mean, I don't want to eat it. Please don't invite me to your house if you did make soup and a fly flew in it. It's, it's garbage. Satan said, the Bible says that one little fly ruins everything. Sin does that. Sin is a creep. <laughs> and I like it in Genesis where God said to say, Cain, sin creeps at your door. And sin is creeping at everyone's door. And you need victory through Jesus. So I'm going to ask my teens to get ready. And we have a little skit for you this morning. And I think you're really going to like it. It's called the Sin Chair. Natalie, if you could get ready back here, and I'll get out of the way here in a second. We don't want to step up, trip on this bathroom tissue. These are your extreme teens for Jesus, and this morning they will be doing the sin chair. Give them about five seconds, Nat, and go ahead and roll it. Did you ever think you would see so much in one service with chairs, toys?